Hey everybody, welcome to my new comic book day pickup video for December 4th, 2019. These are the books I picked up this week. It was a relatively light week for me. Some of the books I was looking to pick up at my shop weren't there, so missed out on those, but that's good for my budget. So I'll go ahead and get started and show you the books I picked up this week. Starting with Marvel as usual. And first book I picked up was Venom 2099, number one. It's by Jody Hauser. Hauser with art by Mobley and Borgs. This is the A cover, the Clayton Crane cover. Pretty good read. Uh, interesting. You get the introduction of a new 2099 Venom, which is a female named Aaliyah. It's a good story. You get this girl, she has some kind of disease and she gets cured using the Venom symbiote. And uh, all hell breaks loose from there. Because she does not know that it is the Venom symbiote that does cure her. And we got Noel kind of involved in this issue also. So it's pretty cool. I might check out number two. Um, we'll see. I'm changing the way I'm buying books now. So we'll see. I'll explain that at the end. Uh, next book I picked up was X-Men number three. Written by Jonathan Hickman with art by Lynn Neal Francis Yu. This is the A cover. This book introduces a new uh, bad guy team, a villain team, which is called the Hort Horticulture, which uh, I've heard refer referred to as uh, the Golden Girls, because if you see these villains, they're a bunch of old ladies. Uh, I think the age range is like 65 to 71 or 81, maybe. But um, pretty interesting. This, I don't know. This is one of those books I have on my pull list until issue five and then I'm probably going to drop it from there because it's really not as interesting as I'd like it to be being an X-Men book. So it was all right. We'll see if it gets any better from here, but I'm probably dropping this one. All right. Last book I got from Marvel was the facsimile edition of Star Wars number one. It's the introduction of all the Star Wars characters. This book originally came out before the movie came out. So first appearance of these guys anywhere. Um, haven't read through it yet. I just had to get it because I love these facsimile editions. I'll probably skim through it later. But yeah, had to get it. All right. Uh, I have no DC this week. Surprise, surprise. There was a book that I was going to get from DC. I was looking at Deathstroke number 50 which i think is the final issue in that series but my shop didn't have it so i missed up missed out on that one um, for marvel i missed out on marauders number three my shop didn't have it so i didn't get it oh well all right going on to my indies first book i got is 20xx or 2020 i don't know how it's really pronounced this is written by jonathan luna and lauren keely with art by Jonathan Luna. And the art inside is black and white. If you guys pick this up, keep that in mind. It's a black and white book. Pretty interesting read. It has to do with a group of, well, people who get exposed, get exposed to some kind of disease. And a majority of the people who get this disease die. But those who don't die end up uh, getting some low level telekinetic powers. So it's pretty interesting. I might pick up number two, see what goes, because the, the way this one ended was pretty cool, so I might pick up number two. You guys should, uh, I don't know, might want to check it out. It's pretty good. All right, next on my indies, I got Die, number 10. This is the final issue, or the final issue of the first story arc. It's written by Karen Gillen, with art by Stephanie Hans. I uh, haven't had a chance to read this yet. I'm behind on my reading. And I think I still got number nine I got to read. So flip through it. Looked pretty good. Um, this is one of those books that's also on the cusp of me dropping as far as uh, pulls and stuff. It's this one. I got to read this to see if it was good. And then if it is good, I'll check out number 11 because it'll start a new story arc. And if that story arc seems pretty interesting, then I'll, I'll keep on picking it up. But we'll see. This is the B cover, and it's by Dittman. All right, next book up. Shout out to Wolf Warner. Is Dead Eyes number three. Written by Jerry Dugan with art by McCrea. 
I haven't had a chance to read this one yet either. Like I said, I'm behind on my reading. Uh, but this is a new story as far as Dead Eyes goes because Dead Rabbit came out last year and they came out with the first two issues. So those Dead Eyes number one and number two were just pretty much reprints of those first two Dead Rabbit issues. So this one is furthering the story and it's new material. So can't wait to read it whenever I get a chance. And then the final book I picked up is a Spawn number 303, written by Todd McFarlane, art by Jason Sean Alexander. You got Spawn, he's trying to build up an army. And that's pretty much it. And yep, those are the books I picked up this week. Uh, as far as my future collecting goes, I'm changing the way I do things as far as new comic book day. Instead of buying a bunch of whole new comic books, because I'm I get behind on reading so easily that it's backing up me putting my books away and uh, my room is a mess right now. So what I'm going to do is from now on with my $35 budget, I'm just going to end up buying like three books, three books each week, no matter how big the week is. And that's it. The rest of my budget uh, up to $35, I can either choose to save for my wall book or I can spend some of it towards um, some back issues because there are some back issues that I, I would like to complete um, my series as far as Uncanny X-Men. I have a huge run of Uncanny X-Men, but I do have some gaps in it, and I'd like to complete it. So that way, I'm not buying as so many books. I'm not going to be getting behind on my reading, and I'm getting books that I, I, I enjoy, books that I know are good because back in the days, those X-Men books were real good. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. I'll keep on uh, putting out my my um, shopping list. But from all those books that I put out there that I'm going to be looking at, I'm only going to be picking up three. So it'll probably help uh, if you guys leave comments below on if you have any suggestions on which of those books I should pick up. You know, one over the other. And it'll help me decide which three I pick that week. As far as, I, I mean, some of these stories are, I mean... I don't know. Today, nowadays, they're good, and then they fall off, and so it's not going to be hard for me for, to jump from book to book. But yep, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I got. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell for notifications. Share the video. All that stuff. Uh, check out my Instagram at I Collect a Lot. Leave in the comments below what you guys picked up this week. Uh, tell me if there's a book I should have picked up that I didn't pick up. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I appreciate you guys uh, for checking out the video. And I'll talk to you guys again later. All right. Bye.